Hello everyone and welcome to the next tutorial here on Duct Tape Stuff. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make duct tape paintings. It's been a, a widely requested tutorial ever since I started showing you duct tape paintings. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Alright, now even though these are called duct tape paintings, they really aren't paintings per se because they don't use any paint whatsoever. You're using all duct tape. But nevertheless, they are pretty much called duct tape paintings because you're pretty much not going to call them anything else. So, in this tutorial, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. The first thing you're going to do is get like a canvas just like this. And you can get these at craft stores. Uh, some department stores might have them. I got this at a local craft store. And this one here is 9 inches by 12 inches which is a little bit larger than a piece of paper they say right here on the back they usually come in packages of three or four or a, some, some, maybe a few less than that that probably depends on where you get them you can also get them much smaller than this and much larger like I saw ones at my local craft store that were about the size of a postcard and I saw ones that were four times this size and obviously they'll get more expensive or cheaper depending on if you go up in size or down in size so I'm using this one here which is a nine inches by nine inches by twelve inches which is a little larger than a piece of paper and what we're going to be do is we're going to be making a, a, a camera rainbow design, a rainbow swirl design for this one. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape painting. So let's get started here. Oh, right, so now the first step, really, what you really need to do is just decide what you're making. Like, if you're going to go for an abstract kind of art, then you can just take your strips of tape and apply them directly onto the canvas here. If you're going for a specific image, like, uh, say, like some of the older paintings I showed you with, like, the Sonic on it or stuff like that, you're going to go online, you're going to print out the entire image on a piece of paper, and then you're going to cut out each individual piece and stick them on after you've put down a background color. But for this video, I'm just making a simple abstract painting, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. For this one, I'm going to have a whole bunch of segments going up, just like this, like, kind of like a flower or a sunburst. So I marked exactly in the center where this, the, uh, the panel is. And that's helpful in, if you're doing any projects where you need the center marked. You're just going to just mark that with a pen or something like that. And you can just stick the duct tape right onto the canvas. It'll stick down. It'll be a little easy to peel up, so you do definitely want to make sure that the edges are stuck down and that they don't come up as easily. And you can either cut off this part here on the side or you can just wrap it around the back. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. As you can tell, it'll look nice and clean once you fold it down. So that's the first step for this one. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've been applying all the strips of tape to around the sides here and in kind of a rainbow star f uh, fashion here. And all I've been doing is just sticking the duct tape right onto the canvas, nothing special, just making sure it's stuck on and rounding around the edges. And the next thing I'm going to do is put black right over here. So that's going to be my next step. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it's all done. You have a pretty pretty neat painting there. All kinds of colors of duct tape with all put on the canvas here. Now this is pretty much how to do just abstract uh, paintings. You just stick tape pretty much just right onto the canvas and you just make whatever you want to. But let's say you're doing, you're trying to go for a design that had a little more structure to it. That's something that you found online you wanted to put onto a painting. Like say for example this one painting that I made a while back which was the, the Union Jack flag here. Now if you want to, to do this painting, what I did is I made a base color, which the base color here happened to be black. I put that around the border here. I put white here in the center. That The, the white here is on the very bottom. And then basically what I did is I went online, I printed out the giant flag, and I cut out the piece of paper and stenciled each of those onto the correct colored tape and stuck them directly onto, onto this actual canvas. So that's exactly how to do like designs like that. It looks really cool and it takes, doesn't, it's not too hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time. And if you always mess one up, you can always just peel it off and try it again. Or if, if you messed up the tape when trying to put it on, you just stencil out another one and try it again. And also, a while back I did show you the Sonic painting. This was made a little bit differently but more or less in the same fashion. This is an all blue background here. So I, I first thing I did was put the electric blue tape all over on all of the sides here. I used one, two, five strips total. And I just put all those on. And then I basically what I did is I went online, cut out and printed out a giant Sonic out of paper and then stuck it down and I 
cut out each individual piece and then stencil that onto the correct tape and, and put it right on. And I will have a, a decoration tutorial coming out on how to do puzzle decoration. That's exactly how this thing is made. And if you want to get it, a, give it a, a try without uh, the tutorial coming out, you can give it a try. But it's basically what you do is just cut in each individual piece and then fit together each piece just like a puzzle. But there will be a tutorial coming out on how to do puzzle decoration and this the sonic wallet that I made will be the example for that video. So that's how to do duct tape paintings. A lot of really cool things you can do with, with duct tape and canvas. So hopefully you guys will give all this a shot. And I will see you guys next time. So take care.